whenever we name a new event in Heap um, and we deem it useful, so we see that a lot of people are adding it to their funnels or to their graphs or to the reports, um, and they're saying, you know, we, we want to see this on a weekly basis in our weekly web dashboard that we've set up. Uh, we definitely go ahead and just patch that event over. We have, the, the Heap tools makes it pretty easy where it's just an on or off toggle for BigQuery. So you just toggle that on and it patches over within 24 hours, patches over all the data and we can start using it um, in our BigQuery instance and then over to Looker and build that report for them. And the great thing is the naming conventions also come over. So it's as simple as just naming a dimension and looker the same as it is in Heap and everything patches through. With Heap, we actually now flow um, both our Shopify information, our data from Shopify and Looker. Um, so on my sort of Looker dashboard, dashboard we use um, all the um, pathway data from Heap alongside all of our revenue data. Um, in Looker, which is through Shopify, and combining those two have have kind of showed given us a lot of power, in the sense that we can um, really relate both sessions conversion rates with the value of a product and their margins. So um, you know, while there's a lot of value in understanding when a a thirty dollar product is converting much higher than a seventy dollar product, uh, maybe uh, maybe. Um, Conventional wisdom, wisdom would be to show this $30 product, but with uh, the ability to integrate Heap into Shopify and Look, uh, Looker, we are able to kind of figure out more on a margin basis and see that you know um, some products are more are, are more valuable than others, even with a lower conversion rate.